Yo, what's up, trillionaires? You know, you're probably one of the AirPods users out there who thinks they're better than everybody else. Well, not only am I here to tell you that you're right, but you're gonna be even better than everybody else after you update to iOS 14. So Apple started recently doing this thing, just like they add a new version of iOS every year, just like they add a new version of Mac OS and Watch OS. They're now adding sort of a new version of AirPods OS, but it's directly tied into the new iOS update every year. And this year they've added a ton of cool stuff for AirPods Pro and better quality of life features like low power notifications and even optimized charging for everybody using AirPods. There's a lot of cool stuff in the update, so I'm gonna go over it right now. Drop a like if you're excited, hit subscribe if you wanna see more, and let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so first up is an AirPods Pro only feature called Spatial Audio that really brings the best parts of going to the movies and hearing that incredible surround sound, whether it's 7.1 or Dolby Atmos, and it's coming to the AirPods Pros you already have. To get proper surround sound support, you always wanna make sure that even if you move your head a little bit, sound still sounds like it's coming from the TV in front of you, like the actor's voice should be in that position in space. If you turn your head to the left or right, it shouldn't shift at all. Apple has introduced some crazy like head tracking features as well as device tracking so that if you're holding an iPad in your hand and you move it a little bit, like the left side of the iPad, whatever angle you have it at, is gonna be what you hear on your left, even if it's shifted a little bit. It's really cool how Apple's done this and I wish I had a better way to describe it out here. I mean, Apple has these images and it's amazing. Like you gotta try it for yourself. I watched a little bit of the amazing stories Apple TV Plus show and I was like, wow, I feel like I'm walking through the house with this actor. Uh, it's very, very cool. I don't know how they've done it. It's magic like everything else about AirPods. Hey, I'm not out here asking any questions. The good news for the rest of these features is that they work on all AirPods. So second is battery notifications. You ever have that thing, like this happened to me many times where I'm getting ready to go to the gym back in the day and I'm really excited and I get there and I'm ready for the best workout of my life and my AirPods are dead. Or I hear the doot doot doot, the saddest sound that any human has ever heard whenever your AirPods are low on battery. Now Apple is gonna give you intelligent notifications letting you know, hey, it's probably a good idea to charge these, you know, when I used them yesterday and they were at 10% battery before I go to the gym the following day. This is gonna save so many people so much heartache. And I just gotta say, Apple, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Next up is automatic switching. When you switch from your iMac to your iPhone, to your iPad or anything else in between. Instead of having to manually reconnect them as you've had to in the past, Apple is gonna somehow know you're switching from device to device to device and dynamically route the audio from that device respectively. So let's say you're listening to music on your iPhone and then you pick up your iPad and start playing a YouTube video. AirPods are automatically going to switch. You won't have to disconnect and reconnect or go to your control center like you've had to historically. It's literally just going to work. And if that's one way you could describe AirPods, it would be that they just work. And very similar to that is a new feature for the Apple TV, which is really cool. I wish I had this a couple months ago um, when I had a roommate. So this allows you to pair multiple pairs of AirPods or be Beats, depending if they're compatible, they're one of the newer ones, with your Apple TV. So you can play Apple TV 4K audio straight to your AirPods to not wake up anybody else in your house. With iOS 13, we got AirPods audio sharing, which was really cool with an iPhone or an iPad. And now you can do that on Apple TV. So you and your significant other, your little cuddle buddy out there, you guys can Netflix and chill with the sound just for you. AirPods and iOS 14 are also getting new headphone accommodations. So Apple's gonna give you options to amplify soft sounds and even personal tuning to help you hear music phone calls better than ever before, more crisp and clear, because obviously everybody has different ears. So this new accessibility feature allows you to see like, you know, when you go to the eye doctor, they're like better or worse, trying to find your proper prescription. Apple's essentially got that, but for sound with AirPods on iOS 14, pretty neat. Like you probably expect, it's super intuitive. You basically just tap on this and then it'll run you through a few sounds and it plays this pleasant stuff where it's like, does this one sound better? Or is that one with the high is a little bit more pitched up? Uh, it's cool, I liked it a lot. And I mean, for the average person, like this could totally make your audio experience better. But taking all these things into consideration, if there is one thing, especially for first generation AirPods that a lot of people have had issues with, that is the longevity of the battery, all right? If you use these things every day, you have to keep in mind the batteries inside are so absolutely tiny. It's impressive that Apple was able to give us five hours of battery in the first place. Apple in iOS 14 is introducing optimized charging. This is something they've done on the iPhone. So it essentially won't charge your AirPods always up to 100% every time. It'll charge them to 80% pretty quickly and then do a slower trickle charge, I think once it gets above 70 or I believe 80%. So that after doing that week after week, month after month, the AirPods batteries last longer. You know batteries degrade over time. That's just how batteries work, whether it's an electric car like a Tesla or your iPhone. You don't always get the very best perfect battery life 
on day 30 or day 300 as you did on day one. So now Apple's making it so the AirPods will last longer. I wish we had seen this before. It's one of those features though that is better late than never. I think my favorite is definitely the spatial audio. That is, it's really wild. Like you just gotta try it out for yourself if you are on the iOS 14 developer or public beta right now. Drop a like down below in the comment section if you enjoyed the video or you learned something new. Hit subscribe for more and leave a comment. What is your favorite new AirPods feature that Apple introduced with iOS 14? All right, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. You guys are the best and I'll catch you in the next one.